As the Congress of Ukrainians in Canada noted the allocation of $340,000 at the expense of Canadian taxpayers by the Canadian Media Fund to shoot Russian director, Trofimova's film Russians at War contradicts the statements of the Canadian government, which expressed concerns about the influence of Russian propaganda. As a result, TVO Media decided not to show the film. We have listened to the Ukrainian-Canadian community and their thoughtful and heartfelt input. TVO's board of directors has decided to respect the feedback we have received, and TVO will no longer be supporting or airing Russians at war. TVO will be reviewing the process by which this project was funded and our brand leveraged. Chris Day, chairman of the TVO Board of Directors, on their website tvo.me. It's worth mentioning that Trofimova's other films were broadcasted by Russia Today, a mouthpiece of Russian propaganda that is under Canadian sanctions. In addition, the Congress of Ukrainians in Canada noted that the director had illegally crossed the Ukrainian state border and that the film itself was nothing more than Kremlin propaganda that justifies the war crimes of the Russian army. Meanwhile, on September 5th, the documentary film by a Russian-Canadian director and a former employee of Russia Today channel was screened at the International Venice Film Festival. It is a very strange movie. It is basically the same as if we were making a film about Hamas, filming inside Hamas without mentioning October 7th, just talking about what brought these people into the ranks of the fighters. And the Venice Film Festival deliberately paired two documentaries about the war in Ukraine. The Ukrainian film directed by Olha Zhurba and this film by the Russian director Trofimova. The Ukrainian film is a huge panorama of the country's life during the war, while the Russian film is about all these people who do not control their lives. They always refer to the circumstances, to the fact that they went for money and it was all decided for them. This propaganda film has been condemned not only in the Ukrainian film community, but also in the Ukrainian foreign ministry. Earlier, the Consul General of Ukraine in Toronto, Oleg Nikolenko, reacted to the upcoming screening of the film Russians at War at the Toronto International Film Festival. We strongly oppose the attempt to use TIFF to whitewash the crimes of Russian soldiers in Ukraine. The film Russians at War misrepresents the realities of Russia's invasion. Showcasting this film is irresponsible. Oleg Nikolenko, Consul General of Ukraine in Toronto, on Facebook. The Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine has addressed the Canadian Parliament in a statement not to allow the film Russians at War to be shown at the Toronto Film Festival. The whole film by Russian director Trofimova is built on showing that Russia Russians do not want to go to war, but they are forced. They are ordinary guys, not thieves and not murderers. But it doesn't show the atrocities they are committing in Ukraine. The film makes no mention of the Russian Federation's invasion of Ukraine in 2014. The occupation of Crimea and the destroyed Ukrainian cities are also ignored. The characters in the film claim that their army cannot shoot or rape civilians. From Forbes publication. The purpose of the film is not to show the realities and consequences of the war unleashed by Russia against Ukraine. Ukraine, but to humanize the Russian military, which commits war crimes against Ukrainians on a daily basis. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.